Hello everyone, hope you're well, long time no see. I've missed you guys so, so, so much and I'm here today to film a chatty video about how my move is getting along, how I'm settling in, the kind of stuff that I've bought, the sort of room decor that I've got so you guys are gonna have like a sneak peek about what type of things I've been buying recently. I'll give you guys a background if you don't know me. I'm Barbara, I'm 24 years old, I'm a Pisces. Um, I don't know what that means about me, but I'm a Pisces. And I'm a pharmacist slash YouTuber, that's what I do. YouTuber, a lot less, because pharmacy has kind of taken my, a lot of my time at the moment. I recently have just got my own place, so I've moved out of my family home where I've lived for, I've lived with my mum for 24 years, my whole life. I didn't live out for uni, that was my choice, it wasn't anyone's anyone's choice but my own. And I've gradually, gradually saved up money to move out on my own. And I've kind of gone in on like on the deep end kind of thing because like I said, I've never lived on my own. And it's been currently two months that I've been living on my own, settling and learning how to really clean a house, clean bathrooms, um, iron, wash, use dish, a washing machine. To give you guys a background, I was a little bit spoiled at home. A little bit might even be a bit of an understatement. So I've kind of, like I said, it's like I've, I've done it all moving in and I've learned everything moving in, obviously with the help of my mum. And I am absolutely loving it. I have gotten myself into a kind of small routine. It's a little bit hard with me for with work because I never have like regular shift patterns really. It's kind of like my days off really chop and change, which is just part of the job really in healthcare. So I don't have like a set ironing day or a set washing day or a set, it's kind of like whenever my washing piles up, up I'll do the washing, whenever my ironing piles up, I'll do the ironing, um, etc, etc. My new love, which I knew it was going to be, is decorating. I'm obsessed with decorating. If I had all the money in the world, I know exactly how I would decorate this place, but it's something that I've done gradually and considering I don't think I've done too badly. If you guys want a finance video on, like I said, mortgages, buying your furniture, how I've kind of done it all, let me know. I know you guys have said you really do want to see the mortgage video, but if you think a video like that would be helpful, please do ask your questions down below. I really want you guys to be as informed as possible because money's such a taboo subject, like it's such an iffy subject. I really do want to help you guys out because there's not a lot of girls in my kind of situation out there and I don't think it's something that I'm I'm not special in any way I just think there's about having strategic plans of how to do things so if you guys are interested then please do let me know but this video is kind of like I'm gonna have a few snippets of like me moving so I'm gonna actually show you guys how the flat looked bare like bare to the bones when I just moved in when I just had my stuff in and to what it is now so it's a two bed two baths so I've got an ensuite and then one bathroom place and then I have like an open plan kitchen living room which is perfect for me for when I've got friends around and all that kind of stuff and I'm entertaining I'm at my front door and this is why I chose this flat like just a second ago the sun's just gone in otherwise you should have seen how it looked just now like when I walked in I was like oh my god this makes me so happy because I've only been coming here in the evenings because I haven't been off work so just like I can't get over it but this is my front door I can't see myself there we go this is my front door and um this is my little hallway I was kind of hoping that I would be able to get like a little console table like here but the door swings like this way so it would hit it which is really upsetting but I'm gonna give you guys a little tour like I said this is what I want to do so you come in here this is the two doors and this is the bathroom this is gonna be my main bathroom and guys look at this what the cleaners slash builders did <laughs> look, it's so cute I've already tried to deck it out obviously um I have legit bought like most of this stuff is the camera dirty I have legit bought most of this stuff well actually like 99% of this stuff in the how many ever months it's been now that I've been waiting to move in so it's been since October so it's now May so five plus two ish months so seven months I've pretty much accumulated quite a lot of things because I had kind of like a vision but this is going to be like the guest bathroom so it's probably not going to be the bathroom that I personally use all the time except when I want to have a bath because oh my god like I've got all my little lush bombs I'm going to put them all on there it's going to look so cute and then I also have like a little what are these called? You know, like a pad thing, but it's not sticking very well. So we'll just leave him there. And I've got that from HomeSense, which is my obsession, but I just love it. And I don't know if you guys saw like the viewing thing, but the guy even said, it's like, I have, I'm only, I'm one of the only people who has, if not the only person who has a window in their bathroom, which I think is quite important. Like, I don't know, I quite like having windows. 
This is my little, oh, I'm gonna move this because it's my stepdad's ladder. I think it's my stepdad's. Everyone was asking me in the, um, I need to do this, in the other vlog video, who's Robert? Robert's my stepdad. This is my, um, what's it called? Like airing cupboard type thing. So it's where my mum bought me that hoover for my birthday. This year, that was my birthday present. I'm, I'm just, I'm too spoiled. She spoils me anyway, but that's my um, ironing board and my little pink Henry Hoover. That's gonna be my um, washing basket and it's small for a reason. And the reason is my mum said that it's gonna make me do my little laundry more. And then water, this is where obviously like all the heating and stuff gets regulated. Then we come to this bit. And obviously guys, I haven't like, we haven't finished anything yet. Um, my favorite room I think is my bedroom. Like I'm obsessed with my bedroom, obsessed. So this is my bedroom. It's like, look at this brightness. Like, can't even deal. And then this is my ensuite. It doesn't have a window, but it has a really good shower, which I am a big shower person too. Like I'm, I, I like to have like a shower in the mornings and then maybe like can have a bath every now and again. So I'm really glad I have a separate shower. Um, and it's just a really, really good size. We're probably gonna get a cabinet for this wall so I can have my toiletries on this wall because there's no cabinets, there's no storage. Um, but I'm obsessed with this. This is the PS de resistance. This is my outfit. Like, look how cute this is for outfits. Like, obviously only half outfits, but um, I just, oh my God, I'm obsessed. And again, I got matching things. These again are from John Lewis. This is my bed and it's from Ikea. It's the Malm um, bed. And I just wanted something really plain and white because I'm actually thinking of getting, well, I'm not thinking I am getting wallpaper to go all across that wall. Um, I think I'm gonna have a console table there. And I'm toying with the idea of having my vanity in here or in my other room. But um, the chest of drawers are also from Ikea. I haven't, um, sorry, the bedside tables. I haven't found anything that I really like. And I'm just going to get matching knobs to that chest that I bought if you guys watch my vlogs. Um, this is a king size bed. Um, and it's one of those ones that has like the storage underneath. I'm thinking of getting something for here. Um, I have this like little space here. So I'm probably going to put the, like a little console like... Uh, like a sort of antique console table here with for my keys and stuff. I think that would be cute. And then we have these two rooms. This is my second bedroom slash filming room. It's just gonna be a filming room. I don't think I'm gonna have a bed in there. And then this is my living and kitchen, but we'll come in here. My stepdad has already very kindly set up the wardrobes. Those are my wardrobes. They are the packs, I think. I don't know, but they're the really, really high ones, as you can see, because I need a hell of a lot of storage. I'm thinking of doing something for this wall so that it's like there's something there i don't know i can't again do i don't think a console table here maybe i can actually but then hmm like it'd have to be very very thin i didn't think of that oh look who it is <laughs> it's mummy bear there you guys quickly this is the living room this is my kitchen tables are from ikea and hi i'm filming we were toying with the idea of different tables at ikea and then i thought this is kind of like casual because it's not like I'm going to be having like dinner parties or anything um but it's I think it's the perfect size and I think it goes with the kitchen really really good what I'm doing now is I've just got a chair from the living room and I've got a thing with all like my makeup and like toiletries and stuff like that and I'm going to sort out my drawers which are and put in like my makeup and stuff and then that will also help me decide whether or not I need another one of this which could be possible um, because I have a lot of crap. This is the jewelry section for now. Very neat and tidy. This is the first makeup bit. That was where I put the lashes at first, but they were, I don't know if you guys can see, actually look, that little guy's fall, gonna fall and break. He needs to go somewhere else or he can go there. So that's what it's looking like. So highlighters, liquid highlighters, blushes. I need to clean these. I need to clean these too. Um, concealers and some stick foundations. I have one eyebrow product. Liquid lipsticks, which I definitely have more of at home. The Kylie lipsticks over there. Um, highlighter palette. This is an eyeshadow palette, so that should probably go somewhere else. This is a blush, so it should probably go over there, but whatevs. And then look, this wee eyeshadow over here is falling. Mate, you need to go over here, because you're gonna fall. 
look i legit look at my trainers they are so disgusting then this is the next straw so weird miscellaneous eye palettes which i have more of at home i think in my other drawer lashes lashes and masks and then i'll probably do skincare i feel quite accomplished for doing that today i was so excited i was so nervous but it's kind of all coming together now and um, I'm so ecstatic. I also got a little clip of my housewarming party type thing, which was so funny. My whole family came around and blessed them. Like, it's they're so sweet. I still had, hadn't done as much, I feel like, even as now. I feel like the flat looks so much busier now than it did even then. I've got a funny clip of, of me opening some of my cards and my presents. And if I show you guys what happens, like, oh my God, if I feel so bad, but here's a clip. Hey guys, um, this is probably, um, I've vlogged loads recently, but I just, I don't know how I feel about the footage that I've done. So I don't know if I'm gonna be putting it up, to be honest, so uh, this is probably gonna be all jumbled, but hello, um, welcome to the flat. And I've got family coming around today because I'm kind of doing like a housewarming thing because we just sort of thought if I don't do it now, I'm never gonna do it. So the house is really clean. My mum and I were cleaning this morning and we have loads and loads of food and stuff. And I've just been to my local shopping center. I needed to get my nails taken off because I had shellac on my nails and then you guys know I had my gels for ages, but as I said, I've been doing injections and my nails are just effed up, like they keep breaking. So I'm just gonna give them a break for a little bit, even though I hate, I hate having natural nails. But um, I probably have this top on in like every single vlog that I filmed, but it's literally all I've been wearing is this outfit with my thingy feeler leggings. That's all I've been wearing at the moment. But um, if you guys don't notice something about me, my favorite flowers are peony and m and at this time of year always do them. So I went and got the big 20 pound bouquet thing that they do. Oh my God, I love them. And I got the ones that aren't all fully open so that I think they will last a bit longer. So I'm just gonna get them ready in my bars that I've already got ready. But I will show you guys the spread like my mom and I have done already and stuff this morning. Fruit bowl that we got ready. Everything's clean. I've just come from the shop, so that's why my shopping's there. But my mum um, has got all the plates out. There's bread under there. We've got crisps and wine and stuff like that. Excited for everyone to come round. Um, some of my family have already seen it because we came round the other week. Um, we went to the park and it got really like rainy and it was near my house. And then um, we ended up just coming to mine. This is my mirror. I don't know if, you, if I've shown you guys. This is my baby. This is the love of my life. Aren't you? She's apparently gonna be a pharmacist. And she's gonna work with me in my whatever I have, pharmacy clinic, whatever. And yeah, isn't it? That's why she works really hard at school. She studies really hard. We've had Choka that she looks like me. Okay, pass by the street for now. Everybody, three, two, one, photo bomb. Everyone has to do silly face now. Three, two, one. Okay, I got one. Alex, your turn now. Look at me. One, two, three. Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Wow. Oh, I like to give me a card for this. Man, I'm going to give you a card for this. Man, I'm going to give you a card for this. Man, I'm going to give you a card for this. Man, I'm going to give you a card for this. Man, I'm going to give you a card for this. Man, I'm going to give you a card for this. Man, I'm going to give you a card for this. Man, I'm going to give you a card for this. Man, I'm going to give you a card for this. Man, I'm going My whole family 
very superstitious and they were all telling me that it dropping was like a sign of like bad omen like leaving the flat or whatever so I'm taking it as a good thing we all kind of can laugh about it now but I felt so bad because that was my um, one of my lovely family members and they've just all been so 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 supportive I love all my cousins my aunts my cousins aunts nieces and nephews and all of them but now I'm going to move on to what I've actually done to the place the thing was that I was very very adamant that I wanted like a wood effect floor often when you live in apartment blocks it's very unlikely that you're going to be able to have wood because wood you, you make a lot of noise walking on wood so I got something called Antico and it's a mock wood effect floor is the only way I can really explain it do not ask me what it's made of or whatever but I'm not a big carpet person so this was just like the one thing that I really wanted to spend money on so if you guys do want that video I'm going to be explaining things that I think of like for example were important to me they not, might not be for everyone but it was important to me the other thing was I got to like choose the kind of cabinets that I wanted for my kitchen so they had like certain types and then I got to choose the colors um, and then the worktop color and things like that so I wanted everything to be quite neutral because I knew I wanted like a pop of color with my sofa my sofa is probably one of my favorite things and it's from Habitat it's one of their L-shaped sofas I'm so glad I went with an L like in the end because I live on that L like on that bit of the L so I'm obsessed with that sofa um, I couldn't be happier with it and the green I just think really really pop I think the room is so bare that it needed something like that in it my one next thing that I'm like saving up for is them um, pictures and I know exactly where I'm gonna be getting it from Decenio 100% everyone who like whose houses I look at on Instagram whatever um, they all have photos and well prints from there and I'm obsessed with them so I'm just trying to save up some more money to try and get those theme was in there just for like clean my stepdad came into my flat today and he was like your flat looks like a show flat and I was like is that a bad thing like I like it to be quite neat and tidy My favorite places are H&M Home, HomeSense actually is probably my number one. HomeSense is kind of like a US equivalent to like TJ Maxx, but here we have TK Maxx Home as well, I think. But I go to HomeSense. I've got three like in the vicinity of my area and I like interchange all of them depending on what I'm doing that week. Like if I'm near one of them, I'll go and like stop by. It's so funny. Like my mom always laughs at me. She's like, what are you doing this, this like day off? I'm like, I'm going to HomeSense. It used to be Zara and now it's HomeSense. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And I have found some gems there. Um, I also am obsessed with Zara Home, Urban Outfitters and West Elm. Like I'm obsessed with West Elm as well. Um, I literally just got a delivery of a desk today from West Elm and I'm obsessed with it. Home buying is actually, I think a lot sometimes even easier than clothes buying because everything is always on sale like maybe it's the season but since I've, I've like moved everything that I want like ends up in the sale so obviously it's perfect for me because it's cheaper um but obviously it's expensive and you need to kind of be decisive as to what you wanted so when I first moved in I did I didn't need a desk like straight away so I waited until I found this desk on sale and then got it and then for the moment I just had my computer on my um table in my in my kitchen which doesn't really bother me it's just me if anything it was actually nice because I used to like watch tv in the mornings and um, whilst I was doing my makeup because I also do my makeup on my kitchen table at the moment not that I even really eat on the kitchen table anyway um because I'm trying to find the perfect desk um the perfect dressing table type thing so it's all about choosing which things you need urgently so for me the first things were my cupboards those are from Ikea I have really really tried not to make my my flat an Ikea vomit like you guys know what I mean, like Ikea, like crazy, because I think it starts to look a bit, you guys know what I mean? So my cupboards I knew I was gonna definitely invest in and they were quite expensive, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of their single cupboards. So I've got three doubles and one tiny single where I'd literally just put my bags um, because I really wanted somewhere that I can put my bags that I can see them and then I can actually rotate them and use them. Also got great storage for like my bed sheets and stuff that I don't need during the summer. At the same time that I got my um, cupboards, I bought a table and chairs from Ikea. They're like a, almost like a bar stool type effect, which I like because I'm never really gonna hold like really, really formal dinner parties. Like I said, I don't cook. We all have faults. And um, like I said, I'll do the washing up any day. But it was kind of like more informal and cute as opposed to like really formal dining table. I was gonna get like a bench situation, but I went with these and I'm really happy with them and they're really cute and they go with my kitchen quite well. 
So those were the first things. So the first things are really cupboard, kitchen table and chairs and sofa, but my sofa took ages to arrive. So I was sitting on the floor for so long, which was so annoying, but it finally came. What else? Obviously a bed. So I also got my bed and side tables from Ikea. The way I went with my bedroom was, I had found this really, really stunning wallpaper that I knew I really, really wanted and there was no going back. Like I wanted this wallpaper, I was gonna have this wallpaper. I'll show you guys what it looks like, but I found it on John Lewis and then my stepdad works in the building trade, so he managed to get it for me a bit cheaper, but it's not the cheapest wallpaper. So I knew that I wasn't gonna splurge. I don't have the money to splurge like on both things. So I knew that I wanted pretty much a white bed. So I went on Ikea, their beds are about 250 to 300 pounds, which is so cheap. Their mattresses are about 150 pounds, if not even less, I can't even remember. I saved money that way. So my bedside tables, my bed, my mattress, which obviously you need, bedside tables are a bit less, but I still wanted them, um, are cheaper, but they work perfect. And because the wallpaper is a little bit more expensive and a bit more quirky, it gives the room and elevates it and doesn't make the furniture look, in my opinion, too Ikea-y. I also got a bed that has a lot of storage in it and I put my towels, my pajamas, my extra bed sheets and I think that's it in them, which is really handy because extra storage, like I said, is like a plus, especially when you live in a flat and stuff like that. So it's all about choosing the stuff that you need at first. And those were to me the kind of main things because I didn't want all my clothes to be on the floor everywhere. I wanted somewhere where I could sit because until my, especially until my sofa came. So those were kind of the main real things that I wanted. I already had like a stove and all that kind of stuff. It came with the flat. And before I was kind of planning on moving, I had already bought things like a Hoover, a um, ironing board iron, that kind of stuff, TV even. My TV is a Sam's, I think Samsung. Oh God, I'm so bad at these things, but it was white, it was pretty, and that's why like, I got it. It sounds really bad, but everyone who's watched TV on it is really impressed and says it's nice. Really happy with everything. Um, so there was definitely, like, if I make that other video, I'll explain, like, I really took months, and I think everyone won't have that many months because my property was still being built, but, it's a good idea to like buy little by little by little as opposed to like, oh my God, I need to spend like five grand on everything. I'm not, I'm not saying I spent five grand, but you guys get my gist. So now I'm gonna go room by room. So my living room and my kitchen, I'm obsessed with, I'm so happy. It really took a, I was getting really worried because I was like, I'd found a West Elm media unit that I just knew I wanted because I didn't want that space to be too white. I've got high gloss units um, in the kitchen. I've got high gloss table. I didn't want it to be like white gloss, white gloss, white gloss, white gloss. I was like, oh, it's too much. So I knew that the other side of the living room, I wanted to be a bit more industrially kind of. I love the flooring. So I knew I wanted like a wood effect media unit and West Elm has the most beautiful ones, but they're like, the size that I wanted was like 1,500 pounds. And I was like, oh my God, I, I, it's ridiculous to spend that much money on it. But I was like, do you know what, Barbs? It's your favorite, try and save up for it. Like, cool. Like you saved up for things before you can save up for this. This is why I say I love HomeSense. I went to HomeSense and I scored. I found the media unit that of my dreams. Like it's my, there's little things that I would like change, but for the price that I got it, like I'm obsessed with it. And it cost me 400 pounds. It's about 170 centimeters in width, which all the others that I'd been looking at on places like Sweet Editions and stuff like that, which is another really good site, they were so much smaller. They were like 130. And I just got the score of the century and even they were more expensive. I literally walked into HomeSense and I was like, how much is this? Please can I have it? Thank you, I'm coming this evening to collect it. But it's really made the room. And another thing that I had, it was uh, my mum bought me a rug from Iran um, ages ago. She brought it back from there when she went and visited, but it really wasn't going with the room. I wasn't very happy with it. So recently from Zara Home, I got this gorgeous rug on sale and it's kind of like a Persian style rug, but it's like in a gorgeous gray, a grayish, it's almost like a gray green in some light. I'm so happy with it. I think it's just really made the room. I also have gorgeous terracotta pots from H&M Home, which if you guys know of a website that does really good inside not outside plant pots let me know because i'm really struggling that's the one thing that i'm really struggling to buy is plant pots which is ridiculous but they all seem to be like outdoor ones are the ones that i like i also have got a few trinkets from zara home so like my um is it table runner on my table list from zara home i've also got some pots and 
ornaments and things like that that are from there and lamps oh my god their lamps are amazing from Zara home I'm obsessed with them and I always get them in the sale I feel like furniture shopping is even better than like clothes shopping because I just managed to get everything on sale whereas my clothes I never bargain like it's really bad next big thing is a coffee table but I'm gonna wait it's not something I'm desperately in need of so I'm happy to wait for the perfect one just like I did with my media unit I'm not in a rush I just use like my split, uh, side tables, which are also from Zara Home. They're like a perspex. I like a difference in texture and material in my house. Like I like gloss, wood effect, um, that kind of thing. Oh my God, I forgot to tell you guys. My dream has always been to have a bar cart. And again, I found my bar cart at HomeSense. I don't think everyone is into this one because not, I'm sure not everyone's home has like a lot of black, but my front room has quite a lot of like black accents. So this one is like a bamboo effect black bar cart and it's the bar cart of my dreams. I still need to buy like nicer alcohol to put on it, like for show. I'm not a big drinker, but um, I've just got bottles of wine that people have given me on it um, and flowers and my incense. I'm obsessed with incense. I burn incense all the time. I'm not, I've like gone off candles more and I'm more onto incense. I just love the effect that it gives to the flat. I was so, so happy to find it. And again, it was about 60 odd pounds. Whereas when you find them in like Graham and Green, Swoon Editions, those kind of places, they're like 250 odd pounds. So I scored. So I even found a gold gorgeous one the other day in HomeSense. So if you have like a different theme room, just wait it out and go and have a look at your local TK Maxx or HomeSense because I think you'll find something. So it's just about being patient and really doing your rounds like I do. That is my living room. This room that I'm filming in now, my scored item is this and it's a chaise type thing, like a chaise lounge. Um, I don't know what you would call them, but it's in this gorgeous peach color. When I saw this, I almost died with how much um, like of happiness of how much I wanted it. And everyone like when I went to buy it was like, are you the girl who's buying the pink couch? And I was like, I am. This rug from, um, he blah, 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 from Urban Outfitters so long ago before I even moved because I was just like, it's so pretty and I want my filming room to be like a green, pink, gray kind of theme, like very Instagram kind of. I'm, I love, as you can see, I love like pinks and greens and it just it's just very girly and very cute. So I bought this rug ages ago and it was about 70 pounds from Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters also does like the best sales on their home stuff, honestly. Never buy anything on um, full price because I even got this pillow. I know it's only a pillow, but it was about 20 pounds, 22 pounds, and I got it for 10. They always, always have like really good sales and things like that. But I scored this and it was about 300 pounds, which is not cheap, but it's like, this is the feature of the room. And then today, like I said, I got my desk, which is from West Elm. This was the one piece that I've been really searching high and low for and I've hated everything. So I spent a little bit more on this, even though it was in the sale, but I'm so happy with it. I'm looking at it now and I'm like, it's so cute and I need to find a chair for it. So I'm now on the hunt for a chair. Um, I'm really not sure about what to get. I'm looking, I really just want like a plain white chair, but I, I don't know, I'm gonna just have to keep looking because there's nothing I found that I like. But like I said, I'm happy to compromise. Compromise is not a bad thing um, until I find the perfect thing. This room is kind of like the work in progress room because I'm not quite sure what I wanna do with it because it's my filming space. I don't know if I want pictures everywhere, but I probably will end up still doing photos everywhere and then just filming on the background. Um, but I wasn't quite sure and I definitely want a mirror in here, so, um, they're just kind of like to come. I'm still not, this wasn't a priority room. That's why it's quite bare is because A, I'm gonna have all my equipment in here. So it's never gonna look super pretty because I've got one, two, three, four, five bits of filming equipment, which yeah, it's a lot. And I'm not even like, I'm not even like that professional, but it takes that much to film nowadays. So it's never gonna look like ultra glam, but it's, it's gonna be a filming room. Legitimately, I don't think my bedroom could have come out better. It makes me so happy. And the proportion of the room, maybe because I don't have cupboards in there, but still, I think it's a big room, is so big. Even when I like walk around, there's so much space and it makes me so happy. Um, I've got so much light in there, which funnily enough, like, I thought I'd wake up like really, really early in the morning, so I'm really funny with light, but I'm so relaxed. I love where I live. Um, I wake up a few times in the middle of the night, which I never used to do living at home, but I think it's because when you live on your own, I'm a bit more like the one thing is on Thursdays when the bin men come, I always hear them at like five o'clock in the morning and I wake up. But other than that, like it's so worth it. And 
Um, I don't have like blackout blinds and things like that yet. I haven't got any blinds and things in my windows yet because I'm still debating whether or not I want to get shutters because it's my dream to one day have shutters but they're quite expensive. So again, don't mind compromising. So when I film and people can see me from outside, they must be like, what the F is this girl doing? But I don't really care. I really want to go and spend like hundreds of pounds on blinds and then be like, okay, now I want shutters. Do you guys see what I mean when I'm not even that fond of the blinds? So I don't mind even if I have to wait like a few months because it's not that big of a deal. The other thing is light fi fixtures. The only place that I have my favorite light, light, like I only have a light fixture is in my bedroom. And I got that light fixture from John Lewis on sale again, when I literally just bought the flat for about 120 pounds and it just makes the room. Um, I told you guys where the bed and everything is from. My unit I actually showed in a vlog and I bought from HomeSense. And the one thing that I'm obsessed with doing is changing the knobs on all my furniture. I'm sorry, I'm still like really immature. The word knobs make, makes me laugh every time I say it. But I'm obsessed with changing the knobs on my furniture. The one place that I buy all my knobs, I keep saying it, is from Zara Home. And they have them on sale at the moment as well. So it's just one thing that I really like to do because sometimes you'll see a piece of furniture and you'll be like that looks a bit blur but I'm obsessed with it so I'm really happy with that and I'm waiting like I said to find the perfect dressing table I want something super ultra plain not anything crazy um but I haven't found anything yet so we shall see I'm obsessed with mirrors I also thought mirrors just dress a room so much so I have this little corner in my in my bedroom and I've got this gorgeous circle mirror that I bought literally like I think last November odd and I just kept it at my house um, for about £60. So all my mirrors are from HomeSense. I even bought another one this morning um, for £50 for my bathroom. And if you guys look online at mirrors from like Habitat, Zara Home, other places, Zara Home the mirrors are really small so they're not that expensive, but other places like West Elm, etc. Mirrors are like 100 to 200 to 300 pounds which is ridiculous and I got that circle mirror like the circular one for 60 pounds when I have literally seen the exact same thing on like West Elm for three times that so like I said you can definitely find bargains I'm not a millionaire I've just really found my bargains and like I said in that time period that I had I really tried to save everything and you have to kind of have vision like especially when your place isn't done you need vision but there's only been a few things that I've bought that I've been like, oh, I can't take them back now and I don't really like it, but they've not been ultra expensive. So I've really thought about things. I also got new lamps recently because like I said, Zara Home was doing a sale. They kind of have like a lacy kind of, I don't even know how to describe it, effect. And I think I got them for half price, which is crazy. Um, and I, when I first got them, I thought they'd be really, really huge, but they're actually perfect size. I'm so happy with them. Another thing that I'm a bit of a freak about is my bedding. I'm obsessed with the white company when it comes to bedding. They always come out in sales, so do sign up to their like newsletters and things because they will come up and say that they've got sales all the time, so I never really buy them full price. I've always bought them on sale and I'm obsessed with them. Because my room is primarily white, I don't really want any crazy bedding. If you've got a king size bed especially, bedding is always gonna be expensive and I just say spend that little extra and get a good quality one. I also have a really gorgeous one from Marks and Spencers. So if you want to spend a little bit less, Marks and Spencers is really good for bedding too. Then we come on to my hallway and I really wanted a um, entryway table, what do they call console table, but the way the door my swings open, I can't get one in because the, the door would hit it. So I have this little alcove and I've managed to find one. Well, my mum actually found me. Yeah, I think it's probably meant to be like a bathroom cabinet but it fits in that little corner perfectly. I've changed the knobs on it because obviously I have to. And they're again from Zara Home. And I've got this gorgeous mirror that's from Zara Home that I don't know where I'm gonna put. She bought this in like October time when I when I finalized the, the, the flat, like getting the flat. And it's a fish lens, which I'm obsessed with fish lenses in general, but I think it's really cool. And my mum put it there when she was cleaning and I think it looks really cute. So if I don't find a home for it, I'm gonna leave it there because I actually quite like the way it looks. It looks kind of like just put there and then I have a little trinket table with my keys like sunglasses that I always like run for when I'm leaving the door and I also have that mirror which is kind of like a window pane effect and again I got that from HomeSense and again it was super cheap and again they retail for literally like 250 pounds and I got it for 60. Lastly is my main bathroom like I said I'm not showing you guys my own suite because I'm not really happy with it um but I'm obsessed with my main bathroom and that mirror that I got today my stepdad didn't get around to putting it up for me today, but when he does, I'll show it to you guys. I'm so happy with it. It's so beautiful because I like, just, like lifted it up. I need to sneeze. And because it's quite a modern bathroom, I wanted it to be a bit more not modern. This little stand from HomeSense, which I've just put like jars, again from Zara Home and a candle that I want to dress up a little bit more. I 
tooth holder, like toothbrush holder, um, soap dispenser and tissue box are from John Lewis and so is my toilet brush but I didn't, I refrained from showing you guys that and I really like those. I love them in that bathroom and I got matching ones for my ensuite but I don't love it in the ensuite which I find a bit odd. That's kind of it. I've also got my storage cupboard which I haven't shown you guys but this is almost like a flat tool, but not really because it's not my full flat tool. But I just, I wonder if this is interesting. I wonder if you guys like home content and seeing and snooping around my place. I have quite a lot of stuff going on, at, um, going on at home at the moment. So things are about to change a little bit for me, I think. But I will obviously keep you guys updated. I know I don't make videos as much, but I want to make videos that I love. And I know that you guys... And I hope that you guys will enjoy. So please do let me know down below if you want that video. Because um, I'll be more than happy to do it um, next week. And I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for bearing with me and my disheveled, sweaty self in this like 30 odd degree weather. I love you guys all lots. Take care of yourselves. Bye.